Penelope the Pig Goes to the Country, written by Lee A. Daniel, illustrated by Suzanne Watson. Boys and girls, buckle up and get ready to go. We're off to where kids always love to go. It's over the hill and across the way. We're off to visit the country today. Baking and cooking, pies, cookies, and cakes, and lots of other food that my Aunt Jen makes. She lives in the country with my Uncle Ben, who runs their little farm, along with Aunt Jen. Uncle Ben is often busy, but he always lets me ride when he plows with his tractor. I'm usually by his side. Uncle Ben tills the land and plants for harvest in the fall. He grows melons and peanuts, and no, that's not all. Also corn and tomatoes, and he chops pesky weeds that harm plants as they grow. While Auntie tends to Molly and June's needs, her two pretty Jersey cows, she gathers eggs, waters chickens, and feeds and milks the cows, feeding clucking chickens and the cows as they moo. On all my country visits is exactly what I do too. But the wide open spaces and the beautiful sunsets and all the peace and quiet is what I like best. But working hard on the farm means early bed and early rise, and quickly I'm asleep. As soon as I close my eyes, I'm deep in sweet dreams. As the rooster crows outside, I look at my watch, and it's only five. Up and Adam calls Aunt Jen outside my bedroom door, cheerily saying lots to do, breakfast, and morning chores. Buttered biscuits and gravy, and sausage and eggs, it's a hearty breakfast that gives Penelope an edge. She finishes helping Aunt Jen with the morning chores. Penelope then finds Uncle Ben and works some more. Then he says, enough work, and we go down to the pond where we talk and fish until Aunt Jen comes along. She brings us a picnic lunch and we all sit and eat, laughing and relaxing. Country visits can't be beat. Later, when it's time to go, Aunt Jen, standing at the door, says, you're the nicest niece an uncle and aunt could ever ask for. I happily wave goodbye and head back to town, but I'm already counting the days until again I'm country bound. And for all nieces and aunts and uncles and nephews too, this story is about a visit to the country and it's written just for you.